Hey there, it is Matt with a video on how to add your DNS records for your cold email domains. This video will focus on how to add our DMARC record. These videos are going to be based on Microsoft 365 and GoDaddy, so just keep that in mind if you use Google Workspaces or something else that's not Microsoft 365. It might be a bit different, but the steps are always going to be the same. So what I've done here is I've Googled DMARC record generator. So for example, let's just refresh it here because I was trying it out before the video. dmarkly.com slash tools slash DMARC dash generator is a good option here. So let's go here because this is where we're actually going to generate our record. And the record will have to be different for every single DNS record, unfortunately. So if we have 10 cold email domains, we're going to have to do 10 different records, but we could also save a bit of time. Um, I'll show you how to do that. So let's go to our policy for here. So we can choose none, quarantine, or reject. If you don't know what any of these means and you don't really have a good reason to use quarantine or reject, let's just leave it as none. So the next step we want to do is we want to choose our email. So I'm going to use, um, let's just say, matt at 60secondnutrition.com. And I'm going to use that for the aggregate email as well as the forensic email. Again, if you don't know what any of these means, it's probably not important. It's just important that you have this in your DNS records because it's going to vastly improve the deliverability of your cold emails. So for our subdomain policy, unless you're using a subdomain, put none. And if you don't know what a subdomain is, I promise you you're not using it. So let's just move on there. Strict SPF policy, let's put yes and yes. And forensic options, if you don't know what you're doing, just leave them all blank. So now we have a our own generated record below. So let's just copy and paste it up here for now. So what we want to do is we want to open a new tab for all of our records. And that is just so we can do it very easily. Instead of having to do this the whole time and, you know, generating a new record, we can have our domains up here and we can essentially just change the email addresses. So if I had an email address that was get 60 secondnutritioncom I can change my entire record just by doing that. If I had another one that was try 60 secondnutritioncom I can change it like that. And then I can just copy and paste it and I don't have to use this generator every single time. But let's go into and copy and paste that and let's go into our GoDaddy account. So this is the matching domain that I generated the record for. So what we want to do here is we want to add a new record. We want to choose a TXT. Very important here, we want to do underscore and then DMARC like that. That's going to be the name for all of them, that doesn't change. And then we want to copy and paste our DNS record into there. So V equals DMARC1 and then you have make sure you have the correct emails that you you know correspond with the domain so for every single domain you do it for you should have a different um, dns record a different email address and that's really all there is to it with the dmark records it's just very important that we have them so let's click save and it's updating and it was a success and it says it will you know, do it within 48 hours so let's check and see if it's done and there we can see it's all good so that's how you do a dmark record on godaddy for google workspace it might be a bit different but you can use just google dmark record generator and you know you can do anything you need to very quickly so hopefully this was helpful and i will see you in the next video on how to add our dkim records thanks